Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. My name is Parad Juneja and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this session, we will talk about JSON. So let's start. So JSON. JSON is JavaScript object notation is a lightweight data interchange format. It is easy for human to read and write. So let's see why do we use JSON. So data is king, but knowing how to work with variety of data has become even more important. Programmers, developers and IT professionals need to transfer popular data structure from any language to format that are recognizable by other languages and platforms. So JSON is the data exchange format that makes this possible. JSON has become popular as a data format for developers because of its human readable text, which is lightweight, require less coding and process faster. With the help of JSON, we can exchange the data in between different language programming languages or different technologies. For example, if we have two applications, one is Java and another one is Python application and we want to interchange the data in between these two applications then with the help of json we can ex exchange the data from one application to another application these are some top use cases for the json let's see how json looks like so this is the example of json you can see it defines an object with three properties name marks and city and each property has a value let's have a look on json data types so there are basically six data types string number boolean null object and array let's see json syntax rule so data is in name value pairs data is separated by commas json objects are surrounded by curly braces and curly braces hold objects and square brackets holds arrays let's use these syntax and data types so json objects are surrounded by curly braces so i have added a curly braces and in this curly braces inside this curly braces we will add data and data is in property and value pairs means we will add the name of the property and then its value and property and values are separated by a colon and remember property should be in double quotes always and if your value is of string data type then it will be in double quotes and if it is number then it will be without data type without double quotes and for null value should be null and if it is a boolean data type then the value should be true or false and fifth data type is object as I mentioned, the objects will be in curly braces. And also we can assign a object to a property. And next one is array. Array should be in the square brackets. So if you want to assign multiple values to a property, you will use array like this. Also, we can assign an object to a property. So it is like nested collection or nested array. I hope you get some idea how can we create an JSON object. If you are dealing with a JSON file or JSON object in Blue Prism means if you are automating an application or a API and you are getting a JSON file to process the data, then we will see how can we deal the JSON file in Blue Prism. So let's move to the Blue Prism. In this session, we will use this JSON and see the working of the JSON utility JSON business object. So let's take an action stage and use this utility JSON object and select the action JSON to collection. So here in inputs, we have to enter the JSON value. So we are using this value. Let's take a data item and we will store the value in this means JSON object in this data item. Select the data type text and in initial value, we will input that JSON this one not this one let's copy it from here 
so we have this json object it contains four properties and all have values let's say we got data from an api we will post api's video and there we will deal with json so in output we will get a collection means we will get the data in a collection because in json we have an object so it will return in collection c message cod count and list so all these four headings are properties of our json object this is how we can get the data from a json object into a collection so let's see another actions of this object let me take one more action stage let uh, copy this and select the another object which is collection to js take the input as collection and output as a json means a text data type so this will do the reverts of the above action we got the output as json now let's see one more example this one so this property contains an array and array contains object means this is an array of object now let's see how can we read this in blue prism so for this we will use this action json to collection skipping j array but the question here is what is j array we will see j array later let me adjust this let's create a new collection named as results after skipping so that we can differentiate between these two collection let's create one more action json2 collection and now copy this data json object data and paste it here see the process we have added three actions in first one we are converting the data from json to collection and skipping the j array in second action we are converting data into collection without skipping j array and in last one we are converting the data from collection to json to understand the use of json to collection skipping j array action we are doing this so let's run the process and after executing first action which is skipping the j array we can see this collection inside our collection c employee is a collection and it contains four rows now execute the second action and see the result and we can see a employee action and it contains json array and this array contains four rows so this json array is known as j array and in this action this json array is not skipped but in first action this was skipped and we were able to see all the four rows in the employee collection see this on left hand side the output of the action which is json to collection after skipping j array and on right hand side we can see the output of action without skipping j array so this is the use of all the three actions of the utility json object in blue prism you can use all these three actions as per your requirement in case of any doubts or question please let me know in the comment box so these are some expressions which we can use to fetch the value from a json object we will use this in the upcoming video